things are starting to flow again. People are planning nights out, and for Buffalo Rock Brewing Company, it's a new beginning. Had an opportunity to uh, host a couple parties, and everybody loved the beer, and we thought, well, let's try this out. Troy Burns and his two business partners have a passion for brewing and started plans to put their craft on full display before COVID hit. Then they spent the pandemic transforming an old car wash on the Anthony Wayne Trail into a space where you can sit back and relax. The outpouring from the community has been great. I mean, they've, they've uh, all talked very positive about it and uh, can't wait to come back. Down the street, final preparations are happening at Dale's Diner. The restaurant was forced to close back in April due to a lack of employees. Finding consistent help is far from over, but the diner has new owners who live in Waterville and they're planning to reopen next week. Then there's the housing market. Just minutes from downtown, neighborhoods are going up fast and the homes are on and off the market within days. 25 years ago, there was a land use plan developed and it was planned growth. In other words, if you look at the master plan, homes and businesses are sort of scattered, but they're put in a special spot. Tim Pedro says COVID hit everyone, but he's happy to call Waterville home and says more investment is coming to downtown soon. On the corner down there, we've got some other businesses that aren't ready to announce what they're going to do. So there is a lot of things going on in Waterville.